No, don't adjust your screens. That is a football team dressed in pink. Once a year on a Friday night, the Lowell Red Arrows turn pink. And the community is tickled that it does. This is not just your regular Friday night football game. It's Pink Arrow Pride at Lowell. It's when the team, its community, and Gilda's Club get together to fight cancer. It was January 2007, and uh, our coach, Noel Dean, uh, saw Deanna Farv on the sidelines uh, after she was diagnosed with breast cancer, um, actually in the stands wearing a, a pink jersey with Farv on the back. And uh, our coach, Noel, came back and asked the coaches, and said, what do you guys think about if, uh, if we asked our players to play in pink for a game? And we said, hey, let's, uh, let's ask. The kids said, you know what, that would be pretty cool. Started to develop the idea of putting names on and honoring somebody that uh, either passed away or, or a survivor that's, that's going through it or has already been through that journey. And what it started out as just a, a game playing in pink, our student body took over. Uh, got into selling pink t-shirts. Uh, the first year we raised $97,000. We're really big on our community service here. We've won numerous awards for it over the years and we just want to take it to another level. And uh, the big piece that I just found over the years is the lack of cancer support for the families who are going through the stages of it. And, you know, there's a lot about research and that's great stuff and needs to continue, but the support piece, letting people know they're loved and cared for and not alone. And, uh, and we've taken it to that level. I don't think there's anything like this in the nation that's been going on. We've, we're going to go over $700,000 raised in our three years. We've built a Gilda's Club home to provide free cancer support. And uh, it's just, it's, it's awesome. On top of the state titles we won, this is by far and away the best thing that's ever happened to me as an educator, as a father, and uh, I'm just, uh, I'm really lucky. I really am. There's pink everywhere. Almost all of the 8,000 Lowell fans are dressed in t-shirts that raise a large chunk of the money. The most heartwarming part of the game occurs about a half hour before kickoff when the Lowell players line up on the field side by side with members of their community that have been affected by cancer. Number 51, Tyler Mitchell is playing in memory of Dave and Gary uh, Krajewski who both lost their battle with cancer and represented by their son Brian Krajewski. My mom was diagnosed uh, two years ago. Um, last year, uh, in, in June, one of the players asked if he could play in honor of, of my mom, Austin Graham, um, number 31. And we had my mom down here last year, and uh, she was able to, uh, to be on the field with us, and uh, we, did, we lost her in October. Uh, this year, uh, another player, Tyler Mitchell, uh, number 51, on the field today is playing in honor of my mom. He's just a really good friend of mine, and... And we just, he's, been, he's done so much for my family and for Lowell that I thought it would just be a really good idea just to do his family. It's an emotional time for, for the people here and for the people in the stands. If you look at the back of shirts, there's people that, that have names of ones that they've lost, uh, survivors, and, and it's really it, it's an, it's a wonderful, wonderful event bringing the community uh, to a great cause. Quarterback is my nephew, and he is playing for my mother tonight, who's a survivor of breast cancer. And then uh, on top of that, my wife's father, who was my next-door neighbor growing up, uh, passed away about uh, in 2000 to cancer and uh, and that was a horrible thing to, to go through you know so the idea of when I first kind of started all this was to honor uh, both those two people in my own little way and then uh, certainly friends and other folks you know it's really sad uh, it just uh, you know, I just it's important for people to know they're cared for and they're supported you know and when you do all of those things you feel so much better about yourself and that's what these kids are doing and that's what these, this community has done. In addition to raising money by selling the Pink Arrow Pride t-shirts for $15 a piece, the pink jerseys that the players wear also bring in green. The players are given a choice. They can either buy a jersey for $225 or donate it to an auction. This year's auction raised $15,000. So the big question is, can one football team dressed in pink make a difference? Well, just ask Matthew and Melissa Block, whose two-year-old daughter, Claire, is battling stage four neuroblastoma. It's so overwhelming what this community does and how they rally around, and not just us, but the whole cancer community in general, and the students and, and the people who know us that we have no idea who they are, but they're wearing Claire t-shirts, and it's just it's, it's so touching, and it, it's phenomenal what they do here. It's taken a lot of stress off of the situation uh, the, with the help, the, the help that the Gildas Club has been able to provide. 
Um, things like, you know, uh, we had to prepare our home for when Claire was coming back from the hospital. And, you know, the money that they've supplied us with allowed us to buy things like cleaning supplies and getting our carpets cleaned and changing filters and things like that in air conditioning systems just to make sure that the house is safe. And just to know that the community, um, you know, in this game in general puts money aside for special purposes like that really helps to ease your mind and it can take the stress, you know, a little bit financially off of you when it comes to, you know, preparing your home for a situation like we have. And Lowell's idea has also inspired its opponents. This year, Kenwa Hills dressed in purple to raise money for the We Do Care cause. So the bigger question is, can a football team truly be tough while wearing pink? The Red Arrows are a perfect 3-0 while putting on the pink after this year's 47-0 shutout victory over Kenwa Hills. Which brings me to a fashion question for Coach Dean. To end on a lighter note, I know you guys usually wear red, but is pink the new red? Pink's the new red. <laughs> We've done well in the color. I, we, maybe we should wear it all the time. Coach Dean may want to think pink more often, as the defending state champs have won the three Pink Arrow Pride games by a combined score of 143 to nothing. That zero is the number Lowell residents would like to hear when it comes to cancer cases in their community in the future. For High School Football America, I'm Trish Hoffman.